Hi, this is Teddy Burris, your LinkedIn strategist and trainer. What I'm going to share with you today is how to manage, either enable or disable the display of the gold I on your profile, as well as how to manage your open profile settings in LinkedIn if you're a premium subscriber to LinkedIn products. Today on the on the LinkedIn uh, web version of the access, I'm using Chrome on a MacBook. Doesn't make any difference. I'm pretty sure it works. The same thing works in Firefox or uh, other web browsers. But today I can't change this on a web browser. If I hit this pencil right here. It used to be it was right here. At least I was pretty sure it was right here, and I was able to edit or adjust my uh, uh, premium badge on my LinkedIn profile. It's gone. It's nowhere on here. I've sent a message to LinkedIn support asking them for guidance guidance on how to resolve this. However, there's an alternative. And the alternative is to make this adjustment in the um, your mobile app. And I'm an iPhone user, so I'm going to show you how to do it from an iPhone. Pretty sure the same settings apply on a Android version. Okay, from your iPhone, go to LinkedIn. Here's my LinkedIn icon right there. Once you're in LinkedIn, you'll notice that if I, there, you, you can view your LinkedIn profile by clicking on the icon to the upper left-hand corner to the left of the search bar. And then this gives me all of my settings as well as view profile. So click on view profile. And when you're viewing your LinkedIn profile, you'll notice the gold IN is on displayed there to the right of that edit pencil. But if I want to change the display, then I click on the edit pencil to the left of the gold IN. This brings up my profile, which it's what's called the top card or the intro. And you can change all the settings here just as you could on the desktop version. But if you notice to the right of the gold IN, there's a little triangle slash down arrow. Click that. This brings up the premium settings of open profile and premium profile badge. Now, what I can do here is I can turn on or turn off either of these options as I wish. And let me explain you what these options are. Open profile, this is the option for uh, LinkedIn members you are not connected with to send you a free in mail which typically you have to have a premium version to be able to send emails. But if you enable open profile on your profile, this will allow anyone that you're not connected with to be able to send you a free in mail. What I recommend is you enable open profile. This creates the opportunity for more conversations with people that you are not yet connected with. The cost to you is simply going to be the amount of time it takes for you to see that in mail, quickly review it, make a decision to accept it, or make a decision to decline it or ignore it. So enable open profile, it's a good option to have. The second option below is the premium profile badge. This enables that gold IN to display on your LinkedIn profile. I recommend that you have that enabled. Why? It shows people that you, uh, like other LinkedIn members, your connections and others, that you are a little more serious about using LinkedIn. You're paying for this business tool, and so you're using it more deliberately as a business tool. So I recommend you turn that on for others to see. And once you make the adjustments you want to make here, you can click out of that white box, you can hit the X, you can hit the back button, and you can come back to LinkedIn at this point. You can get out of LinkedIn altogether. I'm Teddy, your LinkedIn strategist and trainer, and I hope this little tip will be helpful for you. Before you go, I want to share with you uh, my LinkedIn mastermind group that, that has given a lot of people value. I created this group, this private group. It's in a Facebook educational group. It's designed for, uh, for me to share ideas, perspectives, tactics, tips, best practices. There's videos, there's articles in there. There's a, a bi-weekly, every other Friday, we do a live coaching session for all the members. You can ask all the questions you have. I built this group for business developers, salespeople, and even sales trainers and talent development professionals who want to learn enough about LinkedIn to go help others in their organization.
So if you want more value out of LinkedIn and you're looking for long-term support, long-term coaching, long-term training of ideas as LinkedIn continues to change, even as Sales Navigator continues to change, then go check out burrisconsulting.com slash group. Check it out. Ask me any questions if you have any questions. And then join us. I guarantee you that you'll get value from it because I want to help you master using LinkedIn as a business tool.